Hello and welcome to hands-on Mern Stack Web Development. My name is Philip Danich and I'm here to walk you through the contents of this course and what you can expect to learn and build. What you're seeing right now on the screen is a walkthrough of the web application that you will learn to build from scratch. It's a complete web store that features a unique design and full online shopping experience. We also have an administration area to let store admins review and manage data. All of this was built using the Mern stack. The backend is written in Node with Express.js as the framework of choice. The database behind all of this is MongoDB, which you'll learn how to get running inside of a Docker container or in the cloud. And finally, the front end you just saw was written with React. Now, what I want to stress is that this is more than a course where you follow along with a tutorial to build something and hope it ends up being useful. No, this course was made with the idea to be more than that. We're going to go through building this as if it were a senior and junior developer who sat down and decided to build a product together. We'll always start with a task, work together on making a specification, and then seeing what the technical challenges are and how we can overcome them. And when I say together, I do mean it. Whenever there is a major decision to be made, I always give you the information you need and encourage you to pause the video and think on your own. Learning product thinking is just as important as knowing how to code. So who am I and why should you go on this journey with me? Like I said, my name is Philip Danich. I am a software engineer, JavaScript enthusiast, and tech speaker. I worked on web applications for enterprise clients as well as VC-backed startups. My code and architecture decisions are deployed at several Fortune 500 companies. But perhaps more importantly, I'm also an author who has a published title. My first course, Hands-On Web Development with React, is a deep dive into React and front-end development practices. The feedback from that course has been terrific and inspired much of the approach I've used for this course. So let's go through what you can expect to learn in these seven sections of the course. In section one, you should be ready to take notes and read code more than actually write it. It's mostly a theoretical section meant to arm you with the knowledge of all the concepts and terminology that we'll be using. We'll also talk about the economic side of things. Full stack web developers are well paid and in high demand. It's worth taking a look at the industry from that perspective. There is an optional video in there about using the node shell, interacting with the command line and using Vim. If any of those are foreign to you, please don't skip it. In section two, we kick off our project by working with Node and Express. Here, our goal is to learn about Express as a framework, set up a working server, and write our own middleware modules. We'll set up Babel so we can use the latest ECMAScript features and Nodemon for hot file reloading. In section three, we'll learn about MongoDB, set it up, and connect it to our server via Mongoose. We'll learn how to manipulate collections and objects in the database and set up an awesome seed script that fills our database with great testing data. In section four, we'll bootstrap our front-end part of the application with React. We'll learn about JSX, props, state, lifecycle methods, dynamic rendering, lists, and data flow. But the real accent will be on building reusable components that will be required by any web application that you intend to build in the future. In section five, we'll take our knowledge of the front end and build a much serious web application. We'll learn how to handle routing and make requests to our server. But the most interesting part will probably be when we build out a persistent shopping cart that is saved when you leave the website and is always in sync across tabs. Section six will be the most intense part of the course. This is a full stack web development course. And this is the section where we will intensively switch between the front end and the back end as we develop features. Here we will implement authentication, set up an ordering process, and learn how to craft great user experience. In section seven, we'll focus on tying up loose ends, polishing things, and improving the quality of the code we've written so far. We'll learn how to write unit and snapshot tests, and we'll explore some best practices for security and performance in Express. 
Now, all the code for this course is available publicly on GitHub. Each commit is tagged to the video that it is referring to. You can clone the repository and pick up from any point to build something of your own. Or you can use GitHub as a gradual learning tool for reviewing changes that were made. So, what about prerequisite knowledge requirements? I've made this course expecting it will be viewed by someone who is just getting into the field or by someone who has either a bit of front-end or back-end experience, but not much else. So at a bare minimum, I expect you to be familiar with JavaScript and some basic web development concepts. Core knowledge of HTML is required, but you don't have to know much CSS as you can pick it up as you go. Honestly, my basic test is this. If you can look at the code snippet on the screen and tell me what's going on, then you probably have the prerequisite knowledge. So, that's about it. If you have any questions or want to give me feedback on the course when you're done, feel free to reach out.